Already in its fifth edition, the annual Italian March for Life took place in Rome on May 10th, boasting thousands of participants. Its message? For life, no compromise. It coincided with Mother's Day. The goal was to fight pro-abortion legislation, but organizers also want to extend it to protecting people at the end of life. This year, because, because of the Italian uh, laws, we are not only focusing on abortion, which is of course the main uh, aspect for the March for Life, but also on euthanasia, because, because the Italian government uh, has already started to discuss on this project of law, and so we would like to give a, a, a strong message to our politicians that we are not expecting them to uh, vote something like that, and, and so they, they have to hear also our voice. The march gives an opportunity to the common people to express their conviction that the right to life is the basis of every other right, also in politics. People are getting more and more conscious of what's going, uh, getting on on our society. So concerning uh, uh, um, normal people, it's a good result. And I think also for, uh, um, for um, uh, doctors and, uh, uh, and, uh, um, and people acting in, in, the, um, in um, uh, hospitals, it's also an important message because they know that someone is fighting for them and so that they have the right of conscience to not to do abortion and, uh, and also for the, for, for, for the management of hospitals that they are allowed not to have abortion imposed in their hospital because it's what, what the government also would like to add. Rome is the epicenter of the church and that's why they feel the Italian march will continue to gain prominence. Here in Italy, we have the Holy See, and internationally, even uh, 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 from non-Catholics, so evangelical, Protestants, uh, Orthodox, uh, uh, but also Muslims in other countries, the uh, Vatican, so the Holy See, is seen as, uh, as an important uh, uh, worldwide voice. So the Pope uh, is seen as such, and so this is the reason why uh, they all come to Rome, and in fact this year we will have a larger presence of international uh, uh, representatives representative of, um, of pro-life movements from all around the world. So coming from Australia to, to Canada, uh, of course many countries in Europe, because they understand that uh, uh, we have to give uh, a worldwide message and from Rome the, uh, the world is getting wider and wider. During his weekly Regina Celi address earlier in the day, Pope Francis greeted the pilgrims who are in Rome for the event, saying it is important to collaborate together to promote and defend life.